G'day guys, my name is Captain James Force and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going through Space Punk's Update 2, the crafty one. Uh, we're going to be examining a few of the things they're doing. They revamped the entire crafting system, they added punch cards, they added a cool upgrading system, and they did a little bit of economy tweaking. So it's time to go through, check out what everything is, uh, and prepare for update 3, the friendly one, uh, which is coming very soon. So stay tuned for another YouTube video. As always, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you like my content. And I stream on Twitch as well, so feel free to pop over and check out when I'm streaming. But until then, let's get into it. So, as the name suggests, update 2 being the crafty one, means we're going to spend a lot of time hanging around the crafting bench. And I'm going to take you guys through the crafting bench and exactly what has been overhauled and what has changed, because it's pretty much everything. And then I'll kind of show you exactly what crafting looks like itself. So we start by opening the crafting bench, and the first thing we see are punch cards. Now, this is completely different from before. Blueprints have been totally removed, and they've now added punch cards. And punch cards allow you to not only unlock the ability, like so, to uh, build a weapon, and some of them may cost, some of them are totally free to unlock, as you can see here. Uh, this one costs uh, 165 of the specimen chemicals. But basically, every punch card also allows you to upgrade. So if we look at the raffler, you can upgrade, and there is an upgrade timer for upgrading the raffler and as you can see there's separate steps up here so i just upgrade the raffler to level three and there are 10 steps before you get to rare in one i did earlier i got the pointer to rare already and there's another 10 steps until you get it to epic which costs increasingly more and more resources and takes up more and more upgrade time which means that you can't just go through and spam upgrades and make everything you want You've got to actually pick and choose exactly what you want to upgrade. As you can see here, while we wait for this, uh, some of these weapons are hidden behind achievements. So once you've completed achievements, only then will you be able to unlock the punch cards. Uh, it goes all the way through to uh, shields here as well and into melee guns too. Uh, there's med belts, there's shields, there's melee, and there's ranged. And all of these punch cards give you the ability to upgrade the weapons that you want before you actually go into crafting them. So yeah, this is punch cards. So the second part of this update is to do with the crafting system. So in the first part we talked about punch cards, and once you actually unlock the punch card... When you go into crafting, as you can see here, you have the ability to make the punch cards into a craftable item. Now, the very cool addition here is this 3D upgrader. So this actually helps show you what the gun actually looks like. Uh, kind of useful for you know, seeing how cool it's going to look before you make it. But crafting parts have been totally changed as well. They're now replaced by bits, which are these things here on the left. Uh, each bit has a rarity, so as you can see, there's a common bit which adds a little bit of damage. There's a rare bit that adds, you know, quite a nice amount of damage. And each of these rare bits uh, also give difference. This is 41%, this is 44%, and this is 27%, for example. So each bit gives you different, and then I have an epic one here which is 70% damage, which is quite a lot. So you select a bit, and as you can see down the bottom here, it adds the bit in here. So then we have hardware. So you roll a random one, and I have the heavy hitter hardware. So I add that. So I now have two of my hardwares. Now, you add a battery. So if I add the common battery, I get one software slot down here. But if I add the uncommon battery, I get two software slots, which just gives me more options. And epics and legendaries will give you even more slots to add more to your weapons. After that, I can add two bits of software, so I'm going to choose uh, reload time, and you can see there's a common reload time, which is 3%, and a rare reload time, which is 7%, and uh, a critical chance, because this weapon uh, hits for a lot of damage, the pointer, and as you can see, there's different 
crafting costs here. So up here there are now five types of resources. So there's specimen, which is chemicals, there's stoppinum, there's money, uh, there's stoppica, and there's mutagen. And uh, these two here are rare elements that you find on one planet or the other that allow you to upgrade your weapons further. So then we click craft, and there is a beautiful 3D animation of my weapon being crafted. And there we have it. Here is my pointer. It requires me to be level 21, uh, but here's my damage. My mods are 15% damage and 10% damage. So I got actually double heavy hitter mods. So it deals 25% more damage than normal. Uh, and uh, yeah, that is how to craft using the crafting system. So the third major change has been an economy rebalance. Character levels now have a new XP threshold and the fame road has been extended slightly uh, to accommodate new campaign missions. Even though the campaign missions stop at 1500 fame, you can keep going all the way up to 12,000 and you get fame rewards. And like I said, there is also a new resource, uh, Stopica uh, and the Mutagen. And basically those two are there. So when you're completing missions on the separate planets, you actually have access to get more of that resource. Uh, enemies, Elite enemies also drop more and sweet, sweet loot. And uh, the... the uh, the reward system has been changed slightly with some uh, different boxes and there's a new animation when these boxes open as well just to add a kind of extra look and feel to it. But yeah, that's essentially the economy rebalance. And the fourth and final part of this update is actually just purely visual. There are some space station improvements. So where people are is actually changed a little bit. Uh, as you can see, the doctor is now over here. There's brand new animations as you can see going on here. And, uh, yeah, basically it just looks prettier. Everything is in uh, slightly different places. Everything keeps kind of working around you. Uh, there's screens that now change. There's robots getting worked on. There's, uh, there's just, just little, little changes of where things are that really uh, kind of add to the feeling that you're on a space station and really kind of, yeah, getting into Devil's Gambit. So, guys, there you have it. That is all you need to know about update 2, the crafty one. Like I said, please feel free to uh, like, comment and subscribe if you like my videos and you want to see more content. And update 3, the friendly one, is coming soon. So until then, see you in Devil's Gambit.